Hi friends and welcome back to my channel today. By popular demand, we are gonna be diving into how I prioritize my to-do list inside of my Notion systems, obviously. Before we get into the Notion screen share part of this situation, cause you know that's gonna happen, I just quickly wanna start by touching on the fact that this is obviously my system. This is something I've kind of fine tuned over time. I've honestly tried to co-opt other people's systems and see if they worked for me. And a lot of times they didn't. I end up coming back to kind of my own customized personalized system. And I share that because I just want you to keep in mind that this is what works for me. And really when it comes to prioritization and what different tags and categories you might need for yourself, it's gonna really depend on you. You know, I find a lot of the most popular productivity systems out there for prioritizing, I actually don't like, I don't think work very well for me. I'm gonna touch on one of those common things in this video, but just keep that in mind as you walk through this. This is just some ideas that maybe you can take. And if you're liking some of the ideas or you kind of have questions about how I use some of them, drop them in the comments below. Um, but with that, let's go ahead and get into today's video all about how I prioritize my to-do list in Notion. All right, hello friends, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, and we are starting off with my literally unprioritized to-do list, which I'm realizing right now is very long. Um, let's actually look at the one for my business and personal tasks, since it's gonna be a little bit more succinct. Also don't mind my hair because I just put together my new eight sleep, which I'll tell you guys about once I've used it for a little while longer and holy crap did I get sweaty while I was doing it. So first and foremost, let's look at the different tags I use. So if we go inside of my property here, and these are in the reverse order just because that's how I ended up adding them. But the properties that I have are these different properties inside of my priority property or the different tags that I have are these different tags here. And I'll tell you how I use these different tags. Um, first and foremost, we have the continuous tag. And I use this designation for actions that I'm kind of continuously working on in the background. I have these sort to the top because I don't necessarily want to forget about them. Um, but not necessarily because they're high priority. So like these things that are at the top here are things that I just kind of want to keep in the back of my mind, but that aren't necessarily, you know, the highest priority tasks for me to get done on any particular day. So like following up on podcasts, I do have some podcasts I reached out to to guest with them. Um, and those are things that I just kind of follow up on as I have time. So um, those stay up at the top here. And then I'm working on establishing a consistent time each day where I work on stretching so that I am improving my flexibility because that's always something I've struggled with. Um, then I have tasks that are on hold. So sometimes, you know, you have things where you're just waiting to hear back from somebody. I have a separate tag that I have is on hold and I have a view up here where I will go and I will see what tasks are still on hold. So let me show you that. So we'll click over there. This is called on hold tasks. I actually really should go in and put like a, I don't know, like a stop sign or something like that here. Um, and you can see I'm actually doing a really good job because there aren't any tasks here that are on hold. I should go ahead and delete this filter because I'm not actually using it in this view. But that is what the on hold is for. And I will just periodically go and I will check into that just to make sure I don't have any lingering tasks that I'm still waiting for somebody on. The next task type here, the next tag is my scheduled tag. I have um, automation set up from my Google Calendar to bring in some of my um, events into my Notion system so that they are you know, top of mind for that particular day. Um, these are also sort of the top so that I remember that they are scheduled and these are appointments that I need to build my day around. I do not pull all of my calendar events because I have a crap ton of appointments in my day job and I just don't want to clog up my Notion system with those appointments. I've done that in the past and I really didn't like it. So the ones that I pull in are a handful of event types from my day job. They're mostly like phone calls and trainings and stuff like that. Um, but then the other big things that I pull in are like client appointments and whatnot that I will pull in to make sure that I have those in the calendar ready and raring to go. The next designation is quick. This is one of my core categories. Um, these are the quick, easy to check off tasks that help me move the needle on things quickly. There are a few things. Um, these are things like follow up emails or it might be things like when I need someone these might be things like follow-up emails or when I need somebody to send me something or if I'm embedding a podcast on my website or you know, even just making Canva graphics for my podcast or for social media. Those are things I can do relatively quickly. This one actually, it's kind of a bad example, 
of something quick because I actually do not feel like that is a quick task in the slightest. So I'm going to actually make that a low priority task. So here I just want to troubleshoot some, some issues with a new Gmail account that I'm trying to set up. So that's a good example of a quick task. Then I've got the next designation in here is to do first. And how I use this is usually when I have a really long to-do list, I might have multiple things that are deemed to be high priority. And so I like to go through and I like to pull the most important thing from my to-do list that I should ensure I'm doing first or at least early in the day. So yeah, it's if I have multiple high priority tasks so that designation helps me identify what is the most important one. And then from there, it's pretty simple. I have high, medium, and low just to kind of sort them based on how quickly I need to make sure I do them. And then I also have one that's for errands. And what this does is it just gives me a place to put errands that I need to run when I'm out of the house and to keep track of those. So let's talk about how I use these tags on a daily basis. I typically start my day and I am actually starting my day right now. I typically start my day by checking into my to-do list. If I just added a task and I didn't mean to. Um, I start the day by checking into my to-do list and what I go ahead and do um, once I check into my to-do list is I go through any of these tasks down here that are not currently prioritized. I will also go through the tasks that have already been prioritized and make sure this is something that I actually want to do that is actually, you know, going to fit into my day to day. Like, for example, read one burnout related journal article. That's a recurring task that I'm not going to have time to do today. So you can either just check it off or delete it. Um, but then I go through the remaining of these and I do my coaching check in. So today, as I'm recording, this is Monday and I usually try to do those things ASAP as soon as possible in the morning. So I'm actually going to deprioritize this guy down to high and just make sure I do my coaching check ins first. Checking in on Facebook ads, I actually don't have any Facebook ads running right now, but if I did, I would usually do that on Mondays and I would designate that as a quick action probably. Outlining content, so this is a part of my, my workflows um, for how I create content in my business. And I would say anytime it's an outlining one, this is something I can do very, very quickly of kind of what I want to include in that video. So both of these are gonna get a quick designation. And then down here, this is drafting slides and this is actually drafting slides for a new, um, a new speaking package that I just booked last week, which I actually need to go in and I need to add that I need to send their invoices as well. Um, and then what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to designate that one as um, I'm going to go ahead and designate that one as quick as well. So um, we'll draft the UB Slim Sim slides. Those will be let's make that a, I'm going to make it a high because it is something that I really can't fall behind on. Um, so this looks like a pretty good prioritization for the day. I'm actually working on this um, right after I finish filming this. And actually for this non-negotiables, I've done the majority of these already today. Oops, actually I haven't. Hey, there we go. So I have done this one. I have done this one. I have not done this one and I have not done this one. So I'm kind of working through my non-negotiables for the day. So then once I've gone through and I've designated everything, then what I do as I am working through my to-do list for the day is I usually start my day by doing my quick tasks. So this is a lot different from what other people might do. A lot of other people might start off by doing their most important tasks. So like their do first thing might be the first thing that they do in their to-do list. I find that I'm usually not quite ready for the most important tasks as soon as my butt hits my chair, you know, each morning when I go to work. So instead, what I like to do is I kind of like to have like a mental warm up for my day. And that is where the quick tasks come in. So I'll go through and I'll start outlining my video content for this upcoming video. And then once I've gone through and I've outlined some of that stuff, I go ahead and I just check that guy off. Um, and then I'll go through and I'll outline the announcements for this podcast that are going to be coming up. So this is going to be released next week. So the announcements are going to be pick that guy off. And there we go. I've worked through the majority of my tasks. And then I, then I would move into my coaching check-ins and how I have the majority of these set up. I'm not going to open this because I don't want to reveal all of my 
clients' names. Um, but how I have this set up is I have templates for all of my different recurring tasks. This one recurs every Monday, this coaching check-ins one. And how it's set up is it automatically links into my one-on-one -on -one coaching client database. So I can see all of my active one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. And then I check in with them on Monday morning. So that's kind of how I would warm up for my day, checking off some of these really quick tasks. And you could see how quick some of those would be. It's just some quick outlines. Um, and then I start bolting through the rest of my tasks for today, my non-negotiables, editing YouTube videos, drafting slides for speaking engagements. And then I go from there. One more thing that I do want to say about the systems that I just showed you is that there will definitely be times when I do things out of order. Perhaps a low priority task suddenly becomes really, really important, or perhaps I just don't have enough time to be able to dedicate to a higher priority task. So I might do something that's lower priority purely because it's faster and it's easier for me to fit into whatever time frame I have. So though this is generally how I prioritize and the system that I use, it doesn't always pan out that way in terms of how I actually do my tasks day to day. I share that because I do find that it is essential to be flexible with whatever system you're using, you know, whether it's your system, somebody else's system, my system, doesn't matter. It's essential to be flexible because it's not always going to perfectly work out the way you've prioritized it on your to-do list. So that's it. That is today's video on how I prioritize inside of Notion. This is the dashboard straight from my Notion Ultimate Digital Planner. So if you are loving the setup, go ahead and head to my website or in the description below to check out that planner. I also have a Notion all access support group where you get not only access to all of my templates, but I have videos that show you how to use every single layout inside of the Ultimate Notion Digital Planner, some bonus videos about my systems, plan with me's notion office hours and live Q and A's, as well as a foundations course that I've been putting together for beginners. So if that is something you need, go ahead and head to that link in my description below. So with that, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and go ahead and share with me down below. Is there anything about my notion systems that I haven't dove into yet that you're curious about seeing? I'd love to hear it in the comments below, but with that, thank you once again, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.